Hello, and welcome to the HAL basic tutorial for Linux CNC. So getting right into it, HAL for Linux CNC is the hardware abstraction layer, which allows you to connect physical hardware to the Linux CNC software. So take into consideration we're building CNC machines, we're connecting stepper motors, we're connecting encoders for manual pulse generators, we're connecting cycle start button, we're connecting potentiometers or some other type of knob for feed rate overrides so on and so forth. All of those physical components will have to be connected to Linux CNC through the means of HAL or HAL with Classic Ladder. So if we go into the Classic Ladder to HAL file. First thing you're going to see is you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that may or may not make any sense to you whatsoever. And that is the point of this lesson. This is going to be a multi-part lesson for the various HAL components. I'm not going to cover everything. I'm going to cover the basic functionality of HAL so that you can open up a HAL file, you can load components into real time, you can add them to threads, and then you can utilize them in your HAL configuration. So if you're just starting off with Linux CNC, do yourself a favor and make your make your machine configuration 95 to 99-ish percent complete using the wizards. That way you can use your machine and then when you want to fine tune it, then you go into the HAL configurations or the INI configurations and you can change things within those to get your machine to respond a little bit better to what you're looking to achieve. <clears throat> but if you make a if you make a mistake to one of the files and you don't know what you did, you can always go back through the uh, through the wizards, modify the configuration instead of starting a new one. <clears throat> and you can go through and just keep hitting forward and it'll re reinitialize everything that you had prior everything that was working and I found myself doing this a number of times when I first started out making adjustments to my HAL files because I didn't know what the heck was going on I was just copying and pasting things I found off of the forum which in some cases that's that's really all you'll need you just have to go to the forum do a quick search you'll find you're, you'll find HAL configurations that you can copy and paste and you can kind of tweak your way around. Um, this is more for people who want to learn what they're tweaking around rather than just going copying pasting. Uh, the more you know about HAL and the more you use HAL, the better you will become at it. And then maybe you'll be the guy that's making the configurations that people are copying and pasting into their project files. Who knows? So the first thing I want to point out with uh, with HAL is that the basic and advanced HAL tutorials on the Linux CNC webpage are very very good. If you if you follow each of these tutorials especially the advanced one. If you follow the advanced one step by step, it will give you a lot of basic insight as to what is going on with all the different components, pins, parameters, the basic functions, um, setting up threads, things like that. So if you haven't gone through this already, I, I, I highly, highly recommend doing so. Then come back here and watch the video. And, and if, you, if you found that the tutorials are all you need, then it saves you the pain of having to listen to me. Um, if you are here because it still doesn't click, then welcome and let's... Uh, Let's move on to the first component that we're going to be working with. 
So to show this a little bit more in depth, what I'm going to do is I'll add a couple of spaces and I'm going to paste in this little section here. Um, to, if we do a load RT and two, it would only give us a single instance. But if we want to do multiple instances, we would just use a count. So count equals however many instances of and two or two, XOR two and not we would need in our program. So if we just load those and we open up Linux CNC and we go to our HAL show under components it's going to show that we have not XOR2 or 2 AND2 and then if we go to pins under AND2 you'll see that we have four consecutive instances of it. If we go to not, we have three instances of it. If we go to or two, we have four instances. And if we go to X or two, we have two instances. Now these haven't been loaded into the threads yet. So if you tried to utilize these, they would not work. Um, you have to load them into the threads before they actually will uh, they'll actually function properly in Linux CNC. So to do that, we have to we have to remember how many counts we have of each one, and then we can do an add f and 2.0 to servo thread, and we can just copy this real fast. Paste, 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 and then change the dot zero to dot one dot two dot three and the same thing with the ors do or 2.0 copy paste 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 one two three Here I can just do, I've got a two count, so it's only two. So XOR 2.1, add F not point zero servo thread. And we have a three count of that. So zero, one, and two. So all the counts will begin with point zero as count one, and in the case of a four count, it would end at point three. A six count would end at point five. Uh, you know, ten count would be point nine. So if I save those and I reload Linux CNC, now I can utilize all of those uh, all of those components within my HAL file and use them to perform various tasks. So if you look at my video on using AND, OR, and XOR statements within Classic Ladder, you'll see that I give a nice breakdown of using AND2, OR2, and XOR2 within your HAL configuration to perform basically the same tasks that you would with Classic Ladder using AND, OR, and XOR. Um, so that being said, I'm not going to get too far into these. If you watch that video, it gives you a, a great deal of insight. So the last thing I want to cover before I end this is I want to go over the load USR command, which is loading user space HAL components. And if we look at this uh, particular HAL file here, you'll see that I have a load USR command for activating my USB stick or my USB controller which is my PlayStation controller and there is a load USR for the uh, for classic ladder telling it which ladder file it needs to access in order to load the proper ladder file for this instance that I'm running, which is the Gmokapi uh, post GUI HAL, which is for 
one of my other sims for the videos that I do for uh, on that. So it's basically for loading things that are more for the user end of Linux CNC rather than the base and servo threads for the internal functionality of Linux CNC. And there's a couple of flags that you can use within your load user component to perform various tasks within there. If you look at the if you look at the uh, the basic how tutorial, it gives you a little explanation of what each one of them does. So I'm not going to get too far into that. In the next video, we're going to cover um, netting signals together using the net command. We'll uh, we'll do some playing around with creating nets for uh, again PlayStation controller or nets for um, Glade VCP panels, custom panels that we can create within Linux CNC. Um, and then from there we can take it and play around with all of the various commands that you can use with your IO pins such as set P, set S, unlink P, such and so, so on and so forth. So that concludes the first video of the HAL basic introduction. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.